Hello everyone, this is John Ward with the Appalachian Channel. I want to introduce some new friends of mine. This is Lucas and his sister Hannah. I met Lucas about maybe a month ago when he came out here to get his phone worked on. I still do a few iPhone repairs and he got to looking around. He saw my uh, plaque from YouTube where I'd got 100,000 subscribers and he started talking about having a YouTube channel and everything and liking YouTube. And you watch YouTube a lot, I guess, don't you? Yeah, I do. And you had a YouTube channel, but you lost it somehow and you're going to start another one, right? Yeah, I'm going to. Well, maybe I can help you. I gave him a gimbal to get started to help uh, learn how to use a gimbal and keep it balanced. And uh, so when he was out here, he was excited about uh, me having a YouTube channel. And I said, hey, I've got some videos coming up. i got to do some review videos and I'd like to... Uh, let you be a part of them if you want to. And he said yes. And then we asked his sister and she said she'd come help too. And we're going to do this video. Then we've got another video here right after this one coming up. Another review video they're going to help me with. But today we're talking about this Lubana furniture bar set that we have. This comes from Lubana. This is one of the items that's sent to me to do a review on. And I do quite a few reviews. And videos helps uh, me in a couple ways. Once I get one thing is I get free products and I really needed this bar set because this is going to be my studio here in the barn medium as you see behind me. I've got some of my tools and my charging station, my drone, and I've got a lot of shelving that I've put up in here. I've got my office set up over here and a, a place to do iPhone repair and so forth. And I'm going to show you another video update on the barn medium coming up before too long about the shelving that I used in here because it's really neat shelving. But today we're going to talk about this 38 inch bar set from Lubana. There will be a link in the description above. If you click on that link and use that link, uh, then we'll make a small affiliate commission. You pay, actually get a discount because if you use the discount code that's up there, I think it's Appalachian 15. I think you get 15% off when you order. So this bar set and chair sells for about $299. So if you use the 15% uh, discount code, I think it makes it about 255 at the time that we we're filming this. Now that could change over time depending on how long this video is on here. But I really like this. I come out here in the morning and sit and look out and uh, drink coffee sometimes or eat on it or just work on it. It's handy because I can move it wherever I want. And it's well made. It's made out of a poly resin, the, the wood on the top of the uh, bar and the chairs are made out of this poly resin. They'll never rot. Uh, they'll never need to be painted. And I have a product last year that we did a review on a rocking chair and it's made out of the same poly resin and it has been amazing it's held up perfect um, it is a very heavy rocking chair compared to a wood rocking chair that i already had that i have to paint every couple of years because it flakes and rots and so on so i do like this poly resin and then this is metal now you might be asking is it for outdoor use i don't really know <laughs> for sure if you can put it outside I'm keeping it inside, but on the website there, you should be able to find it. Uh, there'll be a link, like I said, up in the description. They'll tell you more about it. But what we're gonna do, Luke, is we're gonna get the gimbal and we're gonna let people have a little bit of a close-up look on it. And then we're gonna go to the uh, where I put this together. Now, you might not be interested in buying one of these, but once you see how easy it is to put together, everything comes in a box. I used to sell furniture like this and had a business and it's kind of called knockdown furniture because it comes knocked down or you assemble it and put it together with a few screws. It comes with an Allen wrench and everything you need. So watch the rest of the video coming up here in a minute because I do talk about um, some of the different businesses I've been in uh, over the years while I'm putting it together. So uh, let me get the gimbal. We're gonna put the camera on the gimbal and we're gonna give you a close up look at this. And it does have uh, uh, gestures that we found just a little while ago, didn't we? Mm -hmm. I, I didn't know. At first, I thought it, it showed in the instructions it had adjusters, and usually you're going to see them at the bottom sticking out. But these are screwed all the way up in it, so it made it level out perfect for us. So I'll get the gimbal and give you a close-up look of it. Okay, so here we go. We're going to look at it here in just a minute. This is the poly resin part. Uh, this is metal. Metal down here. Um, Everything goes together with an Allen wrench. Uh, you got a few bolts in here. And I'm gonna show you that here in just a minute. But uh, yeah, it's a beautiful set. It works perfect here. Like I was talking about a little while ago, this is gonna be my area where I do a lot of assembly of things and, and do the reviews. So let's go to the uh, video where we're putting this, where I'm putting this together, uh, oh, maybe about um, three or four weeks ago. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how easy this is to assemble. Uh, this was actually the first part I did, but you 
see this at the end of the video. For those that like to see how hard it is to put together, it comes with the package of screws that are labeled. The packaging was very well done uh, in shipping. Uh, I, I discarded that several days ago, the packaging to get rid of it, but it was all wrapped right here. Uh, all the metal and parts and components were wrapped in this uh, packaging uh, that's got a interior foam on it. I left this one piece off right here to show you. It's even actually easy to get off itself. It helps it from getting scratched. And uh, so, yes, I've been needing to put this together for a little bit. I've, it's been cold weather. I've been moving and um, setting up my garage here and making me a little place to have a studio here where I can film stuff like this right here. So, all right. Now, the reason I unpacked this earlier because you didn't want to see me unpacking all these pieces of paper like this right here. So, but I didn't want to show you how it does come. It comes packed very well in a box. Comes with instructions and uh, comes with the uh, Allen wrench that you'll need to tighten them up. So I'm gonna set some of these pieces over here. These are the legs. And uh, I'm not always the best to uh, use instructions, but uh, we're gonna try to go by the instructions. This part here looks very easy. The, uh, the bar itself, it's only got four legs in the back brace. So this should not be what we call. Uh, comes with the instructions, gives you a list of parts. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna open this up. I'm gonna open up my Allen wrench first and uh, open up the screws. Oh, dropping a few of them. So I'm gonna look at the instructions real quick and uh, it's gotta be very basic. We only have four legs here. So um, we're gonna look at it right here. We've got one, two, three pieces. And you can see right here, the legs are gonna go in. It's gonna take a couple of screws per leg with lock washers and washers, tighten them up. Looks pretty easy. Let's get to going. I've been in a lot of different types of businesses over the years. I've been an entrepreneur. I've always worked for myself pretty much. I had one job at one time where I sold insurance, but I started out selling cars, used cars as a teenager, and uh, then got into the art and frame business, window tinting business. Uh, when I was in the car business, I did that for some years. I did not like window tinting. It can, can be aggravating. Um, can be hot in the summertime. Uh, so yeah, I've done a lot of different things. Uh, picture frame business, I'm, I manufacture framed art. and even wrote some poems that I sold. You might've seen some of the type of stuff I sold years ago. Uh, I did a lot of bereavement framed art, stuff that you would see maybe at a funeral, uh, a picture of a church at the top and then a poem or a song or the uh, Amazing Grace at the bottom. Uh, I did that uh, for many, many years, probably 20 plus years I was in the frame dart business. I manufactured frame dart and uh, we made the frames and put them together and I sold those wholesale. Um, had a lot of different accounts, mainly a lot of uh, florist accounts because I kind of specialized in the bereavement art. And uh, so just to give you a little history here while we're putting this together. Um, things I've done in the past and I, I sold knockdown furniture at one time yeah that was something I did um, for a few years and it comes in uh, shipped unassembled so the shipping isn't tremendous uh, cost they knock it down uh, or take it apart I guess it's called knockdown furniture it used to be it's probably called something else now I don't know been some years since I have sold this uh, type of products, but I can tell from the products I sold from years ago, this is a, a very quality made product. And we've already had a rocking chair from this company uh, that I bought, or that, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't buy it. They sent it to me for review. And uh, it's sitting over there and it's made out of that composite plastic. And I tell you what, it is a heavy duty rocking chair. It is, uh, 
really uh, a lot heavier than the standard wood ones that you would buy. Um, I've got two of the older style wood ones and the paint don't stick on them. They start to deteriorate and rot, the wood does. So yeah, I like composite materials for that. You don't never have to paint it. It won't never rot and it will hold up and last forever. So yeah, I'm tightening these two legs up here on this side. So yeah, the, um, the stools have got a lot more parts to them. So yeah, we can get this one knocked out pretty quick. But how long does it actually take to put one of these together? For the time I have right now, this is actual um, time. I'm not gonna cut a whole lot of it out so you can kind of see how fast you can put this together. Because you know, that's always a, a concern. Nobody likes to spend uh, hours and hours putting something together. Although I have, some things are just more complicated than others. So far, this doesn't look so complicated, so I'm doing pretty good. There's two screws or bolts. I guess there's a different terminology between screws and bolts. Leave a comment and tell me the difference of bolts. Usually have a nut. Screws to me usually goes into wood uh, of some type that has a pointed edge. Bolts have a flat edge to me. I am no expert, so. No matter what I say or do, there's always somebody that knows a little bit more about it than I do, and they'll correct you in the comments and say, oh, that's uh, this or that, because they, they do that for a living or something. So I always like the comments. Um, sometimes they're not always nice comments, but that's just part of it. Some people like to be negative about everything. And uh, I generally try to approve all comments on my channel, unless it has profanity in it. And yes, I do get comments where people's making actually a pretty good comment, not a negative comment, but uh, they just use four letter words that, uh, that I don't like uh, to see in the comments. So if you leave a comment, uh, please don't use profanity in the, even though you're, you're talking good about something, uh, profanity always is, is a no-no on my channel. So uh, I've got one for particular fellow out in California and I guess that's um, the way they talk out there a lot because about every comment he makes has got profanity in it. Although he's saying something good, he's not negative about what he's talking about. He just seems to like to use curse words. Uh, so stop that. Uh, uh, I hate to block anybody for that, but about how only half his comments ever ever get approved on YouTube. So yeah, I have to prove the comments and look at them before they go on there. And uh, so yeah, uh, love the comments. Let's just don't uh, just don't use any dirty, nasty language. That's just not appropriate for my channel. And uh, Barn Dominion. This is actually, I guess, the worldwide headquarters of the Appalachian Channel. And. Uh, I like it out here. I'm two miles from downtown, outside of downtown Lafayette, where I uh, grew up. And so this is just being back at home for me. So I'm going to take this over, get this down, and there we go. So how many minutes was that to put the, that together? Not very many. I know that. So now we we'll send this paper over. Hey, I like this. This is going to be handy when I want to sit over in my sliding window and have coffee or eat or open my garage door up and sit here. This is going to be all right. <laughs> Let's put these uh, stools together now. That was about 13 minutes all together, it looks like, to put that together. Uh, so no problem, easy peasy. So I've got two of everything on the, uh, the stools because we have two stools. And these are, let me tell you, these are heavy duty. They are made very well. Check this out, guys. Check it all the, how many screws is this? Each one of these pieces of, um, I call this composite plastic. It's a hard resin plastic, maybe. I'm probably wrong, but that's what I call it. So, 
So I'm going to look at the instructions. One item down. And on this one, seems like we might have a few more packs of screws here. Well, most definitely we have more screws because we've got a lot more to put together here. So we got looks like two complete sets of screws for each chair. So I'm going to put one set over here. And uh, they also come with their own Allen wrench, but I already have one open, so I won't open that one. I'll leave that one in the package. So let's look here at the instructions and see what we should have. We should have two arms, a back, a support bar for our feet, and a front leg. Uh, and we got a list of all the boats and their number and later. And I'm pretty sure they're all going to be here. So yeah, this one's going to be a little bit more complicated, but uh, hey, I think we can make it. It's got step one, step two. Very easy. Now, I'm going to tell you, sometimes instructions suck. But this one right here, this looks pretty good. I like it. So it's going to tell you, we're going to start with one, which is this piece right here. And let's see if it's marked. No, it doesn't have a number on it or a letter, but uh, you can tell this is one and this, this is the seat, this is two. So it's gonna go into the front. So now we need to see which one's the front and which one's the back. So that's it's got a little bit of, uh, okay. So there's a little bit of an overhang for the front. So I'm gonna set this up here. And this is gonna go right here to here. And it's asking for, I wish I had, if I had some help uh, here today, I would have them over here close up on this filming so you can see it a little bit better. But I can't get any help today. But it does tell you we have packages of screws and it's going to want B, D, E. So this is B, D, E. So I'm going to open this up and put this out here. And I'm going to put my lock washers on first. And then my flat washer. And I'm going to start. and hand tighten these in as far as I can get them by hand because it's not so much fun using the, uh, the Allen wrench. But uh, so we'll tighten them up by hand as far as we can get them. And uh, so yeah, this, this is coming along pretty easy too. No, no, no problem so far, I like this so far. So I'm gonna tighten these up. And like I said, make sure you keep this Allen wrench. Everybody has a junk drawer in your kitchen. Where you put odd and end things like Allen wrenches, batteries, keys. Um, <laughs> if you have a junk uh, uh, drawer, give me a give me a comment, and uh, we'll uh, you know everybody. You gotta have a place to just put you know, bag clips and pencils and pens and paper clips and all that good stuff. So I'll stick this Allen wrench in your junk drawer in your kitchen and uh, then you'll have it to come back to tighten these up because I'm going to tell you what over a little bit of time they will get loose a little bit and you don't want to let them stay loose because what happens is it starts wiring the metal and the openings and the holes that they go through and then you've got it about wore out before you tighten them back up so then I'm going to over tighten, put the back section on. So we're going to turn this over here like this. The back section is going to have two screws, looks like. So, okay, I come across the first little discrepancy in the um, instructions. It talks about and maybe I can show it to you here. We're gonna put these bolts into the back and we're gonna to wanna to sink these bolts all the way down into these holes right here. But when you look at the instructions on this and we, we see a flat washer on here, it's showing a flat washer, but there's no flat washers that actually come in this pack. They're only lock washers. So I tried it with a flat washer, although I didn't have them. I used one, I thought they were just missing, but it, it, the instructions is most likely wrong here because 
the flat washer keeps the bolt from uh, going countersinking into the the leg of the stool. So I'm gonna tighten these up here. I stopped there for just a minute. Uh, I had a visitor to come by to see the barn dominium and uh, stopped to talk to her for just a little bit and uh, I wanted to figure out this situation here. And I done put the other stool together already. So this is actually the second stool picking up where I left off a few minutes ago. And uh, so if you can see right here, and I'll try to get a close up on these right here. When, uh, when I get done, I'll put the, uh, take the camera off the gimbal. I'm sorry, I'll take the camera off the tripod and put it on the gimbal and uh, get some close ups of this. Um, I might get it tonight, it might be in the morning. Uh, I have to do it sitting outside with some natural sunlight. I'm using some um, artificial LED lighting. I don't really like artificial lighting. It's a little cold, so I don't have my garage door open today. So we got the feet support that's gonna go in here and they go a certain direction. They got an angle on them and uh, they're gonna be the same way on this uh, section here where you want to countersink on YouTube. Uh, so now I got two sidearm pieces right here, one pieces, and uh, they go a specific side. So this is gonna go here, and this one here. And I'll usually do it like that, use that long section to turn it down fast, then to torque it down, I'm gonna turn it this, uh, the short end into it. And this is gonna give me a lot more leverage and tightening up these bolts. So, you know, that's uh, kind of common knowledge to most people that's ever used one of these, but might be a first time or two user out there and you're not for sure why it's an L shape. So it's kind of versatile to use two different ways. And now it shows this one is gonna go up through here. So what I'm probably gonna do is turn it over like this. See if I can see from the bottom up better. So yes, there is a certain combination that works better. As long as I can get this one in here okay, I'll be good. So it looks like what I have to do is put a little bit of pressure on that to get that screw in there. And it's tightening up now. That's um, a lot easier than the other side was. So I'm hoping that uh, in the morning the sun will be shining uh, or the next day or two, I'm hoping to get this video finished. We get these products sent to us, uh, given to us to do the review on, and that's nice. But we do have to work, it ain't free. We have to make a video. And, you know, if we wanna make any money, we have to get somebody to order off that affiliate link. And so, yeah, that's how, I know people don't like um, review videos sometimes. Depends on, I guess, what I'm reviewing. But, uh, hey, we've got to pay the bills and make some money somehow, so this is a good way to do it. So here is the bench. And here is this chair right here. Let me get behind the tripod here and uh, kind of let you see that right there. And right here's the other stool. All right, this is the bar stool set I just put together. It's got two chairs to go with it. It's 38 inches across the top. It's poly resin. I call it poly resin. It's not really poly resin. It's a polymer plastic um, type material that will not rot and you cannot hardly break it. 
very good, very quality. Like it. So I'm all set right here in the mornings and look at the sunrise over here. So we'll check that out in the morning. All right, guys, I uh, hope you uh, watched uh, to this point so far and I uh, appreciate you watching my videos. I uh, appreciate you watching the review videos I do because uh, this is a way that I make a little bit of extra money or at least I get free products that I need for my uh, barn dominium here. Um, We've got another video that we're getting ready to film in just a minute. Uh, we're going to film a e-bike review and Lucas is going to help us on this one. Um, I appreciate Hannah being here today too. She's going to uh, help us a little bit on the next one and video. So remember guys in the description, there's an affiliate link to, to uh, click on. If you click on that link, if you go straight to their website in a few days and order, we don't make anything. I always make sure to come back to here and click on the affiliate link and use the discount code Appalachian15. I think that's what it is. If it's not, I'll have it corrected in the description. But uh, guys, thanks for watching this video. We're getting ready to start another one. We'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye. Oh, my God.